Oh, what is going on, YouTube? Check it out. I have not been this pissed ever in my life. Bill 1867 passed by roll call in the Senate. It passed! This bill basically states that our Bill of Rights doesn't mean shit. For those of you out there who don't give a shit about what's going on in our government because it's too complicated, well, let me go ahead and break this shit down for you. Where f***? The title of this bill is the National Defense Authorization Act. Senators of the United States, let me ask you something. Do you think that just because you write something on the title that makes it sound like it's good for us, that we automatically believe it, you dumb shits? People, let me break this down for you one more time. I want you to listen carefully. If this bill is not vetoed, you know that thing, the Constitution that protects your rights and shit like that? It doesn't matter anymore. So let's go ahead and see what's up with the situation. LG Austin, let's get it. Did I say this before? You. Let's boil this down one more time in simple terms to give you a gist of what's going on. If this bill goes through, it allows our federal government on American soil to detain American citizens without trial or charge at the discretion of the president. Let me break it down one more time, just in case you didn't hear this. You know all that shit that was given to you in, yeah, I don't know, the Constitution, the Bill of Rights? It doesn't mean shit. Here's a few bullet points for you. If you're suspected of being a terrorist, you can either be detained, taken away, or even at certain points, assassinated if need be. American citizens, key word here suspected that well but aren't you innocent until proven guilty not anymore bitch if this shit goes through whatever the federal government categorizes as terrorist like conduct your ass is gonna be going to Guantanamo Bay my Middle Eastern brothers and sisters you thought it was hard getting into a fucking airport fuck that you might get arrested for walking to a McDonald's Korean people no more Kim Jong-il jokes because you just might be his cousin African people you shit I don't know but you better watch your ass too your old ass fart Senator John McCain wants to declare American soil as a military battlefield. He's gonna lie to this. Let me ask you something, fool. Aren't all of our military out there protecting this country so we don't have to bring it home? Huh? You smiggle looking ass mother You want to turn our homeland into a war zone. You want to insert military into our domestic law enforcement. Are you kidding me right now? Senator McCain stands there like the ancient ass relic that he is, bringing up all these old facts about World War II and Nazis and how there were American citizens helping them out. Bitch, you're telling me so in the past few decades, our national security, which we have dipped millions and millions of dollars into, has not improved since then? Senator McCain, I understand there's a huge different age gap between us. You've experienced a lot. Your best friend growing up was Fred Flintstone, you dinosaur. The shoes weren't invented at the time. Back in your day, you were a hunter and gatherer. The biggest invention in your time was the wheel. But the next time you come up with some argument, step your game up, son. But matter of fact, let me help you out. Here's a new bill for you that you might want to pass. It's called, if you're over a million years old, shut the f up and resign. People, due process will not exist for you. What is due process? Due process is like that homeboy on the block that protects you and your individual rights from the bigger homeboy on the block that wants to f*** you up. You know when you watch cops in Law and Order and people be getting arrested and shit, and all of a sudden they say stuff like, you have a right to an attorney, you have the right to remain silent, you know, your Miranda rights? That shit won't exist. Now, the only thing that's gonna be said to you is get ready for Guantanamo, cock me sandwich on the way. Essentially, our government is going to be given an incredible amount of authority without restraint. Let me tell you something. All these immigrants did not swim all these miles across the ocean to go to a country that's just like theirs. If this shit goes down, I'ma swim my fat ass back to Asia. I love this country and the freedoms and rights that are allotted to me by being an American citizen. And now, there's a possibility that it's all gonna be stripped away. Wasn't the whole point of developing a democratic government and developing a constitution and a bill of rights to protect us and create a balance between government and people. What the f happened to you 93 senators that voted on this shit? Did you somehow forget it along the way of being a politician? You know, the American dream to me has never been about making money, fame, or being in the spotlight. It has been about the freedom of choice and living in a country that supports you, that your government supports your rights as a human being. I love this country too much not to say anything about this shit. So for those of you who want to complain and do nothing, well, just sit there real tight and tighten up your ass because you about to get ready to get 